KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Thursday, the 17th of January. I'm James Spann. Very changeable weather over the next five days. Along the way, we'll have some mild days, strong storms, very cold air, snow flurries. Let's see if we can sort this out. Here we go. Upper look this morning, a little wave coming in from the west that will be interacting with some moisture, producing a few showers today. That was the radar at 458. And you can see a few showers already on the western side of the state. So, again, the chance of a few passing showers today or early tonight. Rain amounts should be fairly light. Numbers are all over the board. You got Gadsden at 29, Muscle Shoals at 44 at 5 o'clock. Of course, clouds are on the western side of the state. And we'll see highs around 50 today, maybe 40s in spots with clouds and, again, some light rain at times. And, of course, we're watching that very cold air over Canada. When will the dam break, allowing that to flow southward? Well, we'll feel the first chunk of that Sunday and Monday. Should be the coldest of the season so far for us. Up north, winter storm watches for parts of New England for the weekend storm. Winter weather advisories for parts of the Corn Belt and also back in parts of the western states. And again, a blizzard warning for the Sierra Nevada mountains out in California. Uh, severe weather outlook today, maybe some thunder around Little Rock and Memphis. We don't expect any thunder here. Also, the chance of some thunder out west, nothing severe. Tomorrow, got a marginal risk over northeast Texas, and look at this all of a sudden. Now, on day three, we have a marginal threat of severe storms for parts of the Gulf Coast region. And in Alabama, that marginal threat, level one out of five, is basically areas south of a line from Red Bay to Aniana down to Ranburn, and uh, we'll talk about that in just a second in more detail, but there could be a few strong storms. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. Again, the upper Pacific coast is wet. The east is wet and snowy. Of course, the snow will be north of here, the big snows. Uh, rain's going to be pretty heavy Saturday and Saturday night. This is suggesting we might see three inches up around the shoals, two and a half inches for Huntsville, one to two inches for much of the rest of the state. So let's see if we can make any sense out of all this. Here we go. The GFS, 06C run, noon today. little wave coming through the zonal flow. And again, that'll squeeze out rain showers. Cloudy, cool, a high around 50 today. Rain amounts under one half inch. Now, tomorrow, probably a lot of clouds around, but I think the day will be mostly dry. Just a small chance of a shower. And fairly mild, we should see low 60s. Now, here comes our potent storm as the weekend begins. Got a deep surface low north of Memphis. Big snows for St. Louis, Chicago, Cleveland, Detroit, Erie, Buffalo. And we're in the warm sector. And uh, the question is, can we see enough instability for severe weather? Well, there's just not much surface-based cape. That's the instability at noon on Saturday coming off the uh, GFS. This is the uh, forecast sounding off the three-kilometer NAM at noon on Saturday. And again, the wind profiles do suggest severe weather, but there's just not much instability. Again, the surface-based cape is, what, 127 joules per kilogram. But if the cape can be a little higher than forecast here, then we certainly could see some severe storms. This is the uh, three-kilometer NAM at noon on Saturday showing a, a line of storms. This will likely be a QLCS, a squall line. Uh, so the main threat will be from strong, gusty winds. But again, based on the wind profiles, there might be, if we see sufficient instability, a few isolated small tornadoes. So just something to watch. You always have to watch these in the cold season. This is the, surf, the STP, the significant tornado parameter at noon on Saturday, showing the higher values. And they're not that high, generally under one unit over southwest Alabama. But we'll be watching. Now, Saturday night, the rain moves out. Big snows uh, cranking up over New England. It's a very close call for New York City and Boston. They're right on the rain snow line. Looks like rain this time for Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. And for us, the rain tapers off, and as the cold air rushes in, there could be and probably will be a few snow flurries. 
And this is Sunday at midday. We're just windy and cold with a clearing sky. We'll be in the 30s all day. Parts of North Alabama could uh, stay below freezing all day up in the Tennessee Valley. But in terms of the flurries, uh, we don't expect any impact, any accumulation. This is the uh, uh, SHREF, the short-range ensemble forecast output. Got about two dozen members and three of the two dozen members show just a little trace of snow and the others show nothing. So we'll mention flurries late Saturday night, early Sunday morning with no impact. Otherwise, windy, cold, clearing on Sunday. Monday, the morning will be cold. We're expecting lows between 15 and 25. The sky will be sunny. The high Monday should be in the upper 40s. And this is Tuesday. Here comes our next system with a chance of rain. And again, the models are not that consistent here. The European is slower. It's got the rain mainly on Wednesday. And we're going to kind of trend toward that, but we might see showers as early as Tuesday. Now, there's snowstorm up there around Chicago and Des Moines and Milwaukee. And then Wednesday, the GFS has the rain out of here. We turn colder. Again, the European is slower. It's got rain in here on Wednesday. And again, we'll kind of side with that model in the public forecast. There's a week from today. That looks pretty cold for the eastern U.S. Big ridge pumping up toward Alaska, downstream trough over the eastern U.S., and that looks cold and dry. Let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 26th, again, troughing over the east. And again, that looks cold and dry for us. Here the numbers will warm up into the 60s on Saturday. Somebody maybe touched 70 on Saturday, especially over west and south Alabama. And then Sunday highs go in the 30s. Again, Monday morning, uh, the ensemble showing lows around 20. But clearly, we're going to see some teens over north Alabama. And after that, temperatures generally stay below average for the rest of January around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.